Hi YouTube, this is also X for 00x.com and ZZXbits.com and today we will be building the AMD box, a powerful AMD Ryzen CPU gaming computer for games like PUBG, Overwatch and um, Black Ops 3. This is the case that was chosen, the NZXT H500 mid tower for ATX motherboard case like you can see it's something of a black and white color with a tempered class and uh, it's the successor to the last case we used by NCXT this is the newer model the successor as uh, the H500 the power supply we are using is the power spec 80 plus gold certified 650 watts by a micro center that's where you can get it and they're as good as the EVGA power supplies it's more, uh, it's more than we need here let's install that power supply and we'll get to the rest of the parts we're using on this AMD gaming PC Build. Right, the processor, here it is, the AMD Ryzen 7, the 2700X AMD processor with 8 cores and 16 threads. The main, the core, the heart of this build with a heatsink and RGB fan provided by AMD themselves, their own cooling solution. Here's the box where it came from. This is the specific box where the processor comes with its own sticker. The motherboard is the Prime X470 Pro motherboard by ASUS, as well as the PCE AC55BT PCIe dual band Wi-Fi adapter for faster Wi-Fi gaming. We have two SSDs provided by Samsung, the 970 EVO NVMe M.2, 500GB drives for a total of 1TB, and the two 8GB Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro sticks RAM memory, that's 16GB of RAM. The mouse is the Corsair M65 Pro RGB, and we have a gaming keyboard, a mechanical gaming keyboard, that's the K70 RGB MK.2SE by Corsair, it's Cherry MX, so it's color white to match both the mouse, the case, and the gaming headphones, which are rated by PC Gamer and most people as the best gaming headphones in the market, that's the RT7, 7.1 surround sound and wireless, as well as the LG uh, external DVD drive for installation of a few games, maybe the OS, etc, etc. Going back to the headset, I said it's the best headset for gaming uh, it's with the surround sound and the quality. And you can see here the processor, the heatsink and the RGB fan installed already on the motherboard. Here the M.2 heatsink, there's an M.2 drive installed under there, one of those SSDs by Samsung. If you see below, we have another one of those. Samsung SSD installed on the motherboard. There's no need for power cables or data cables. It's going to install directly into the motherboard. We're going to put this inside the case. I'm going to proceed to the installation of the motherboard inside the case. You can see the RGB, the 16 gigabytes RAM Corsair RGB memory installed on the motherboard. The white color matches the rest of the build and on top you see the RGB lights that are going to turn on and that's the Samsung 960 Evo, Evo SSD, one of two, the other one's down there, it's installed under there with a heatsink on it and also protects it. The Asus motherboard that we chose is also RGB, it's going to complement the rest of the build. It has some silver and built inserts, it looks pretty nice and it's color code. Let's take another look at that motherboard. I'm going to start putting the screws in there. We need to install the power 
cables coming from the power supply. Those are the motherboard cables. There's two, three of them. The headers from the case itself and then the power cables that go to the video card which we'll show you later. Now we're installing the screws on the motherboard itself, keeping it in place. We install the I install the IO shield already. Everything fits there nicely. And you can see the huge heat sink that comes with AMD and that huge RGB fan. AMD really knows how to cool their gaming processors and it looks pretty cool. It's a it's a fact that you can overclock it because they come unlocked from the factory and since we're doing a lot of gaming and streaming, we'll need all that cooling power. And now, this is the Zota GeForce GTX 1070 Ti graphics card with an NVIDIA chipset on board that comes with two massive fans. That is our graphic power. Our graphics card is going to power all video games on this beautiful build. We have AMD processor and AMD heart and a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 EI to power all those games, all those graphic intensive games on this computer. We'll use the PC I slot in here and you can see the cables have been installed the power cables to the motherboard as well as the headers on the motherboard has been installed we feed it now let's install the video card shall we this might cover that M.2 drive in there but it's all right there's enough space for it and there you go, we have our GTX 1070 in there, courtesy of Zotac. Let's install that screw in there and the power, the PCIe power cables, two of them going into the video card there, see in color, you see them there in red color. That's everything that goes inside for now and we use um, Ethernet cable to upgrade all the BIOS, update the BIOS, I mean get all the drives and all that good stuff. Let's see the I.O. shield in the back and the cable management on the other side of the case. You see the fan on top, fan, fan in the back as well as the power supply. Let's put the tempered glass back, let's put that on top of the case, let's fit it nicely and you can see it has to hold the glass in place, let's put those, let's screw those in there, let's take out the protective plastic layer on top to see that shiny tempered glass that shows us all the components and it will light up with the RGB later on. Now let's put the cover and the other in the back, on the other side of the case that also has two thumb drives that are very convenient to hide all those cables and all the cable management that's coming from the power supply, the headers, etc. etc. So you can see it's in the back of the processor the motherboard and a few cables in there, nothing too messy. Get it in place, in the back you can see the filter for the case, should install the power cable to the power supply. Let's get those USB cables for keyboard and mouse for a keyboard and mouse just to use for the moment it's not that the final keyboard and mouse we're using that we bought and let's turn on this computer and let's see what happens okay the RGB lights just went on on the side let me show you which means we got power and all the components are working 
voila, there you see that we have the AMD RGB processor fan, rainbow colors, as well as in the drum sticks, the RGB sticks, and the Zota logo are turning on. And we have power, it's working. We got the device American Mega Trends, the motherboard boots up. You see the motherboard's RGB turning on as well. Let's go into the BIOS. Let's configure that BIOS as far as less updated first using the Ethernet cable for now. Let's uh, configure the RAM, the frequency on the RAM. Let's check that the processor is running at normal speed. Let's check and take a closer look at all the components inside the case and those beautiful RGB lights turning on inside. Now this computer will have a dual boot, dual boot, it will boot two OS, two operating systems, dual boot OS, one will be Linux and the other will be Windows 10. On Linux it will use some programming software, developing software, uh, productivity, etc, etc, and on Windows um, most of the games, most of the DirectX games. Now let's ins install the PCI. Wi-Fi adapter with dual antennas by ASUS. I can see it installed inside the case on top of the video card. This will be used mostly for gaming and web surfing. You can see now those antennas will be on top to get the most um, reception, a better reception for that Wi-Fi network. And there you have it, that's the final build, PCI Wi-Fi adapter case, AMD Ryzen 7 2700X processor, G4 GTX 1070, 16GB of RAM, gaming motherboard, a sweet case, and then you can see Jimmy hacking the matrix with his commands on Linux. This computer will be mostly used for the things I already told you about games, as far as um, we know, will be first person shooters, um, some programming. That was the powerful AMD Box PC built with an AMD Ryzen processor. This was also X for 00x.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check our other videos. Peace, and I'm out.